everyone, what's up? It's me again. Today we're going to paint, actually prep and paint a valve cover. Uh, so we'll just get right to it. Here we have your typical valve cover. This one came off of a, uh, a Honda engine called the H23. And I already did this, but I'm not liking the color or and whatnot, so this is a good experiment for me. My tool for the job is your valve cover, aircraft remover. I think what they meant to say was aircraft paint remover. Um, of course, you're going to need some gloves, goggles, mask, because this stuff is really uh, toxic. But I'm using this stuff because I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to spend all day wasting my elbow grease and um, you know trying to get this stuff off so I'm just going to apply this stuff all over the uh, all over the valve cover now you got you you're gonna wanna probably do this in a well ventilated area like the outside maybe <laughs> so um, as you can see there's a little bit of uh, wind sorry about the wind noise but you pretty much get the idea you, you you'll get the gist of it so uh, just spray it all over the areas where you want to remove the paint and you're gonna need to let it sit for a couple of minutes now um, I don't want to <laughs> waste your, you know waste their t you know waste your time waiting for it to um, you know waiting for it to come off so I'm just gonna layer on a couple of uh, coats here so we can get this uh, we can get this party started get into the you know nooks and crannies everywhere you know the little tough corners that you know get into as you can probably see some of the uh, paint is starting to lift off already okay so um this stuff is really strong again once again i i caution you please please for the love of christ you know put some protective gear if you're not experienced, you're, you're not a pro. You know, trust me. You know, th trust me when I say, you know, you get this on your skin, it's gonna start burning. Okay, and you know what more if you you know, breathe this stuff in? I'm keeping this away from my face. <laughs> All right. Now, as you can see, while I'm letting this uh, soak in, I'm really letting it soak on there. It's starting to lift, and you know it should be so soft, you'll be you'll be able to just you know wash it right off. See the texture? If you, you get a really close look at it, voila! It's starting to do its job. You let it sit on there for a little longer, everything's gonna be you know cool. And just to give you an idea how easy it is, I'm I'm just going to loosen up this uh, paint okay and whatever stubborn paint there is um, might want to do it twice okay twice as nice and do everything nice okay you see it's coming right off and that's just you know that's just the first uh, first application okay uh, one thing's for certain, uh, if I want to keep these letters, which I will, I'm going to you know, get a little more ori uh, detail oriented here and I'm going to mask off those letters and you know, carve out with an exacto knife or really, really sharp, sh really sharp edged um, knife to carve out the letters. Now, there's so many ways of doing it. Um, I prefer the easier method, which, you know, to me, <laughs> just... Um, you know, just exactly what I described above, or uh, what I just described, which is, um, go ahead and uh, mask these letters, and and paint over, you know, carve it, carve the letters out. And now, um, as as you could probably see some of the, uh, the the lighter areas, those were masked off before. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing again, um, so that. You know, I have a little bit of, you know, nice little design, nice little layout of, you know, making it look stock, 
okay? Yeah, because you know this is <laughs> this you know this this motor is you know original. It's you know it's rare, and I, I want to keep that. Um, I want to keep that originality. I want to keep that rare. You know that that being of <laughs> that rare being it is. You know that it is. So you know just uh, well, you get the idea. Just you, you can brush this off or you can wash it off depends on uh, how how strong your pressure washer is okay so just try to get as much off with those little hard to reach corners th that's where I'm gonna use the uh, high pressure water at but you know th this is gonna need another coat so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash off this uh, loose stuff remember keep your distance Wash off the, the loose debris, get into those little uh, nooks and crannies, and uh, it's easy street from there. You can apply the, the next coat, or you can put the next application of uh, aircraft paint remover. Um, even while it's wet. I've done this before and you know, I'm doing it the easy way. You can do it the hard way, the time consuming way of <laughs> elbow grease and um, paint thinner, sandpaper, whatever you want to do. Uh, if, you're, if you're a tree hugger, you have much more power to you but this is for the uh, hardcore, you know, not of the faint of heart type of uh, deal okay I just like to take you know save as much time and effort as much as possible the path of least resistance okay You can do this the easy way or the hard way. Your choice. So let that sit for another couple of minutes. And then we're gonna brush it off and or even spray it off. Repeat the process if, you know, uh, if necessary. Okay? As you can see it's clean, you know, clean up really well. At this point, you're pretty much done if you want, but I'm going to go for gusto. I'm going to do the uh, whole design, the whole paint, everything. Make sure everything's dry. Once all the areas that you want not painted are masked off, you're ready to begin. Light coat. Very light coat. Very light coat. Just you know, just to start the uh, the process of the tackiness. That way the uh, the paint bonds better. Okay, very light coat. Remember, take your time with this. Not in a hurry. Okay. Okay, that's coat number one. There's coat number two. There's coat number three. And this is what it should look like after just, well, I put four coats, okay? Making sure that all the, you know, little tiny nooks and crannies are, you know, well covered. Um, you don't necessarily have to spray into the holes because they're going to be covered with P, you know, <clears throat> PCB valves or, or whatnot, screws. Okay, you don't want them to jam. Alright. With a little T 
TLC, you may end up achieving something of this nature. By the way, when you're doing this, make sure not to pull too hard because you might take some of that paint along with you. Beats having to sand and polish, don't it? Voila! Overall, the process wasn't take you know wasn't gonna take long, but the only part that takes long is the removal of the old paint and cleaning it up and etching well for me it is etching the uh, letters on my valve cover now i could have stopped a long time ago if you like the finish of no paint at all and, and just just sand it down if any you know any residual stubborn paint that doesn't want to come off otherwise if you can you can custom tailor it all you want if you want to draw you know i've seen some val valve covers out there that they, they just painted it all white and then they, they made it as if it was a template for you know whatever you know artistic piece you want to put up. I, I've seen very you know, I've seen some very creative um, art uh, artistic covers out there. So you know go crazy you know. And with that once you know once it's fully cured you know let it you know let it sit a little longer. If you nice if you like the nice glossy finish, there's also some high temperature. Um, clear coats out there might want to check those out in the meanwhile that's pretty much it um, looking forward to seeing you know seeing this project being done and see you out there be safe all right